Radio Oz is on the air. Hi, Dan Geiger here, welcoming you to this special edition of the Radio Oz All-American Alarm Clock Show. This is Walter Flyakite reporting from my news desk. This reporter has uncovered this story this morning. What has six legs but cannot walk? I wondered that, and I did a little research, and I found out that something with six legs but can't walk are three pairs of pants. Yes, I've been very busy in the newsroom. Yes. What's the best way to keep milk from going sour? I asked a dairy farmer this very question. And his reply? That's simple. Just drink it while it's fresh. Oh, boy. Uh Aha. All right. Well, blame the dairy farmer for that joke. Because that was the end. Never mind. All right, I'm going to wrap things up here in the newsroom with this story. I've been uh, I've been working on this as well. I've been very busy working this morning. Uh, what's good at adding and subtracting, but always seems to bump into bright lights? Something that's good at adding and subtracting, but always bumps into bright lights. Well, think about it. It's a moth emetician. A moth emetician. All right. Uh, Rock, he bought a coconut, he bought it for a dime His nephew had another one, he paid it for a lime True. He put the lime in the coconut, he drank them both up He put the lime in the coconut, drank them both up He put the lime in the coconut, he drank them both up He put the lime in the coconut, he called the doctor, woke him up and said Doctor, ain't there nothing I can take? I say, doctor, to relieve this flipper ache I said, doctor, ain't there nothing I can take? I say, doctor Relieve this flipper ink. Now let me get this straight. You put the lime in the coconut, you drank them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drank them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, you drank them both up. You put the lime in the coconut, you call your doctor, woke him up, said doctor. Ain't there nothing I can take? I said doctor. To relieve this flipper ink, I said doctor. Ain't there nothing I can take? I said doctor. To relieve this flipper ink, you put the lime in the coconut, you drank them both together, put the lime in the coconut, then you feel better. Put the lime in the coconut, you drink them both up. Put the lime in the coconut and call me in the morning. Walter fly a kite. I think we'll turn things over now to Horatio Visine, our weatherologist and yeah. Horatio. Oh, oh, yes. There, uh, here he comes. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, hi, Walter. Um, All right. Yes. Uh, I went out this morning bright and early. You did? It was, well, actually, it wasn't bright. It was still dark. So I went out dark and early this morning. Dark and early. Are you with me, Walter? I'm following yeah. along, yes. Um, I'm very it good. was about 4.30 this morning. It was still very dark. I looked up at the sky just to see what was happening weather-wise, because I am a weatherologist, not a meteorologist, as I said before, because I've never seen a meteor. You haven't. But I'm a weatherologist and always looking at the sky to see if there's any uh, changes in the weather, et cetera, et cetera. Heads in the clouds. And I looked up, and I noticed something, Walter. What was it? I know. Well, here's what I noticed. Let me finish. I noticed that there were no twinkle twinkles up there. There were the twinkly twinkle. twinkly things. The stars you're talking stars, about. Stars, yes. Uh, there were no... So I was going... I'm, I'm just going to say, because of that, that there must have been clouds in the sky. I How see. How about that for that, a while? Well, I'm ah, impressed. Boy, eye yeah. on the sky, huh? Yes, if there are no twinkle <laughs> twinkles at night, it very well could be cloudy. Cloudy. Outside. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to leave you with a knock-knock joke, Walter. Are you oh, with me? I'm following right. along. Yes. You play along. I will. All right. All right. Knock-knock. 
Who's there? Arthur. Arthur who? Arthur-mometer says it's getting chilly outside. <laughs> I see. Uh, I'll see you guys later. All right. Very good. Horatio Visine in the Weather Center. It sits at the edge of town, all creaky and tumble down. An empty house, a scary house, a truly haunted and horrible house. They say there's a ghost within, a screamer with purple skin, who bangs and booms and roams the rooms in a frenzy, and I am the ghost of Bleak House. I've lived alone in Bleak House 225 years Alone amid the cobwebs and dusty chandeliers Wait a minute, what's this? A moving van's coming up the drive A family full of kids arrive They're getting out, they're coming in Unpacking cartons and furniture This house is my private space I'm not going to share the place I'll howl and moan and clank and groan in a frenzy and scare them away from Bleak House. <laughs> Leave this house at once! Oh dear, the piano's playing all by itself. Get out! Get out! Get out, you kids! Don't just stand there in the hall. Butch, did you see it? Yeah, you see it, Billy? Whatever it was, it's cool. Then search the house and drag it down. This terrific, incredible ghost of Bleak House. Pat, search the secret passage. Butchie, go look in the attic tower. Baby Gale, you check out the basement. Okay. Oh, and Baby Gale? What? Be careful. Okay. Gee, it's dark down here. Is my house. Your house too. I've lived alone in Bleak House 225 years. I'm not about to stand for a herd of musketeers. Bleak House has so many rooms you can't live everywhere. If you're 225, you're old enough to share. Share? You want me to share? Ghosts don't share. Ghost, you need some company And luckily you've now got Butch and Billy and Ben and me Ooh. Hey guys, come here, I found the ghost Wow, All right. awesome Hi, I'm Billy And I'm Ben Yo, I'm Butch, who are you? I am the late Josiah Bleak So how about a game of hide and seek? Hide and seek? Not it Not it Not it Not it You're it, Blakey But, what? But you have to start counting. Oh, one, two, it sits at the edge of town. Three, we painted it pink four, and brown. Five, and night or day, we get to play with our very own personal ghost of the house. 98, 99, 100, ready or not, here I come. <laughs> Let's turn things over to the sports desk and Rip Snorter. Walter Flag, I thank you for that introduction. You're welcome. And hello, welcome. everyone, boys and girls, and moms and dads listening with their children. This is Rip, and the Ripster has a story about the struggling Timberwolves. The Wolves. The Timberwolves will try to wrap up their three-game Western Road Swing with a win. Now, if I could just pause for just a moment with a safety message for children and parents, okay. if you're going to have a swing, please don't put it near the road. Yes, there's traffic in cars, no, and rip. the cars could come by while rip. you're on your road swing. Rip. And uh, talking about a road trip. A, a trip. trip. I see. A road trip. Not, so there's not, the, the Timberwolves aren't on a swing. They're not on a swing. Oh, oh they're on a, a road trip. A trip. Well, then why don't they put road trip on, well, Well, anyway. swing is another uh, way. Minnesota mm-hmm. is in Oakland tonight. The Wolves have lost five straight to open the season, 
And the tip-off is at 9.30 Central Time. That's late. Way past my bedtime. Mine right? too, yeah. And that's a look at sports. This is Rip Snota, Sports Reporter. Rip Snota, Sports Reporter, boys and girls, moms and dads, and Horatio Visein. This is Walter Flykite. And remember, the best way to raise money is to just put it on an elevator. He's free as the breeze, he's always at ease He lives in the jungle and hangs by his knees As he swings through the trees without a trapeze In his BVD <laughs> He's got a union card and he's practicing hard To play the guitar, gonna be a big star Yeah, he's gonna go far and carry moonbeams home in a jar He ordered Chet's guitar core, C-O-D Makes A and E and he's working on B Dig C and W and R and B And me and the chimpanzee agree That one day soon he'll be a celebrity Get it, get it, get it, get it out Guitar Zan, he's a guitar man He's all you can stand, give him a hand Guitar Zan He's got a girl named Jane with no last name Kinda homely and plain, but he loves her just the same Cause she kindles a flame and it drives him insane When he hears her sing, she really does her thing It's her claim to fame, come on, sing one, Jane got a pet monkey, he likes to get drunk and sing Boogie Woogie and it sounds real funky. Come on, your time, boy. Sing one monkey. Here we go. <laughs> Let's hear it for the monkey! Woo! <laughs> On Saturday night, they need some excitement. Jane gets right and the monkey gets tight and their voices unite in the pale moonlight and it sounds all right. Yes, yeah, dynamite. It's out of sight. Let's hear it right 